In this case, the OUS delineates the lower of the two charges and the IC is for the higher, such as the ferrous ion for F. Today we're delving into unit 2.7 of the first half of general chemistry, which goes over naming compounds. Like almost everything we deal with, it's important to have a classification system to stay organized and chemists use chemical nomenclature to name chemicals. In the olden days, chemists would give common names to the chemicals they were dealing with, for example, water for H2O and ammonia for NH3. However, with over 175 million unique chemical substances being discovered, we must switch from common names to a system. The system is divided into two categories, organic and inorganic. Organic compounds or chemicals that contain a carbon and hydrogen. We'll go over how these are named in the next unit and inorganic compounds that are all other chemicals. The inorganic compounds are further broken down into three categories, ionic or binary compounds, molecular, sometimes referred to as ternary for three element compounds, and acids. Recall from unit 2.6 where we went over ions that they usually consist of two elements, one that gives up its electrons forming cations and another that gains electrons forming anions. The majority of cations formed are classified as a type of metal, and the first two columns are called the alkali metals and the alkali earth metals. These cations form from metals have the same name as the metal, such as the lithium ion or the calcium ion. Some metals can form multiple types of ions with different charges, and in this case, they are still called by the name of the metal, but we add Roman numerals to indicate the positive charge. Examples of this are cobalt 2 ion for CO2 plus and cobalt 3 ion for CO3 plus. Sometimes you will also see the ending of OUS and IC attached to element's Latin name. In this case, the OUS delineates the lower of the two charges and the IC is for the higher, such as the ferrous ion for Fe2 plus and the ferric ion for Fe3 plus while the Cu plus is cuprous and Cu2 plus is the cupric ion. Lastly, cations named from nonmetals have the names that end in IUM, such as the hydronium ion for H3O plus and the ammonium ion for NH4 plus. Naming for anions is slightly different. If the anion is a single element, replace the ending of the element with an IDE, such as the hydride for H minus, oxide for O2 minus, and nitride for N3 minus. Polyatomic ions are a little more confusing, mainly because their naming system was developed many years ago. The polyatomic anions that contain oxygen and end in either ATE or ITE, with the ATE being used for the most common oxyanion and ITE being used for the oxyanion with the same charge, but one less oxygen than the ATE. An example of this is the nitrate ion of NO3 minus and the nitrite ion of NO2 minus. Given the previous information, naming ionic compounds is probably the most straightforward by com combining the cation and anion names. For example, combining the calcium cation Ca2 plus with the oxygen anion O2 minus, we get calcium oxide, or CaO. Another previous example is with cobalt 2 and hydride H minus. Combining these, we get the name cobalt 2 hydride for the chemical formula COH2. Remember, it's important that charges negate one another and the net is zero. The last category of naming acid inorganic compounds builds off of previous knowledge. Remember anions of single elements, we replace the ending of them with an IDE. So the chlorine anion Cl- would be chloride. To convert that to an acid, we add hydrogen to the chemical formula, making HCl. To update the name, we add the prefix hydro, change the ending IDE to IC, and add the word acid. So HCl would be named hydrochloric acid. There are different rules for different endings of ATE, ITE, etc. However, memorizing them is not extremely important to be a good chemist. This is just a broad overview of how we got their names. Based on what you learned, think about the following questions. 
what are the names of the Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus cations? What are the names of the SO4 2 minus and SO3 2 minus anions? What are the names of the Cu plus and Cu2 plus cations? Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials.